Hello everyone. Today we're going to do a digital selfie. We'll create a paper sized canvas. Okay. And we're going to rotate it so that it's portrait and not landscape. All right. Now the first thing that you want to do when we get inside of the canvas is to select a skin tone color. If you want, you can go to the color panel. If you don't already have a color selected, you want to go to the color panel. That's that little circle in the upper right hand corner. And then once you activate that, you should see a menu at the bottom. So it says disc, classic, harmony, value, and palette. The one that you want to tap on is disc. Okay. And I'm just going to move my slider so you guys can see it. This outer slider is where you can find a uh, skin tone. Well, you can find the colors that you want and then the inner circle gives you different variations of that color. So if you take it and you slide it right between yellow and orange, uh, you can get nice skin tone. So if you want a lighter skin tone, you want to go into that inner circle and tap towards the top. If you want a darker skin tone, you want to tap towards the bottom. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do for this project is let's create a palette and select the skin tone. I, or I think I have a board, um, a palette filled with skin tone. So I have mine ready. The important thing is that we utilize the symmetry tool. That's what we will focus on. And specifically, we will use the vertical symmetry tool because uh, Procreate has four, vertical, horizontal, quadrant, and radial. So let's go to actions. Let's go to canvas. And then you have crop and resize, animation assist, and drawing guide. You want to turn on your drawing guide. Okay, now at first it gives you just a grid. We want to edit that. So go to edit drawing guide. Okay, now at the bottom you have 2D grid, isometric perspective, and symmetry. We want to choose symmetry. And automatically it gives you this line right down the center of your screen. Okay. And then options, if you want to double check vertical and then also make sure assisted drawing is turned on. All right. So once you've done all of that, what you want to do next is go to the top of the screen. There's a big orange button that says done. You want to tap that. And then we should be ready to get started. So I'm going to begin to draw the face. Now the face is the only thing that will go on this particular layer. So I'm going to start right at my symmetry line. And then I have my brush. Oh, let me change my brush back. We are using the calligraphy monoline brush. I'm sorry. I almost forgot that. And maybe about 12% for the brush. And let's begin to draw the shape of the face. Now for my face, I like to use this kind of bean shape. Almost like it's more of a seed, I guess, than a, than a bean shape. And then you want it to just connect. You don't want a lot of um, overlapping at the top or the bottom. All right, so once you um, have the shape of your face, what we're gonna do here is we want to use the color dropper tool to drop in the color of um, your skin tone. Now remember, this is the only thing that goes on this layer. Everything will have its own particular layer. Any different kind of category will have its own layer. So once you have your face, the shape that you want it to be, let's tap the plus sign and add a new layer. And we want to drag this layer beneath the face layer. Now on this layer, we're gonna do the shape of the body, which is a very simple shape. It's just like the neck and the shoulders. And then we're gonna actually put the ears on the same layer because they're in separate places. It's okay to put them on the same layer. So I'm just gonna title this one body or body and ears. All right, now for the ears, I'm just going to draw this little circular shape. Now, again, if you have a different shape that you would like to use for your ears or any part of this, you can. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine, but it should be symmetrical. 
Okay. Now, we couldn't use the color dropper tool yet because the ears are not closed. So you just wanna make sure that you close that shape for the ears so that you can use the color dropper tool. Right. If it's easier for you to turn that shape off and then do it, you can do it that way. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to that layer. And what I'm gonna do here is draw a neck. And because this is cartoony, I like to exaggerate certain features. And then you also just want to fill this shape in like we did the the face, you wanna fill that in like you did the face so that we can use the color dropper tool. And then we can drop it in and I'm just gonna clean this part up. All right, now the next thing that we're going to begin to draw is the clothing. So let's add a new layer for clothing. And if you have more than one layer of clothing, then you want to add multiple layers. So in this case, I'm going to add my t-shirt and my headband to this layer. And then I have a sweater, so I'm gonna put the sweater on a different layer to make it a little bit easier for me. So this helps if you need to go back and edit, everything isn't all together. So I'm going to put on this layer, t-shirt and headband. Also, each new layer that you go to, you have to activate the symmetry tool for that layer. So I have my drawing assist on. So very easily, I'm going to draw my t-shirt and I am dropping in that color. All right, now again, I'm going to draw my headband on this layer too because it's the same color and they are so far apart that if I needed to edit one, it will not interfere with the other. And that is it for the t-shirt. All right, so my sweater is on top of my t-shirt. So I'm going to create a new layer and then place that layer right above my t-shirt layer. I'm just gonna title it sweater. All right, so again, with my sweater, I'm just going to come down like this. We are creating very simple shapes. Okay, good, good, good. And I'm just gonna bring it down like this. Cause I want it to be open just a little bit so that I can see that logo that was on my t-shirt. I'm changing the colors. I want a little bit more gray in this one. Add insert a photo I have it right here at the bottom and then I'm just going to use the transform tool to place the logo exactly um, where I want it to be all right now the next thing that we're going to do is hair the hair will go above the skin but it will be beneath my headband and I'm going to title this hair and I'm gonna grab black so I'm going to Draw down like that. All right, now for the bun, I'm gonna create a new layer. And this will be at the very bottom. Now for this layer, I will not turn on the drawing assist because I only have a bun on one side. Now, if I had like the space buns and they were on both sides, then I would turn on the symmetry tool. So I'm just gonna draw a very simple circle and use the color dropper tool to drop it in and then bam, I have hair. Okay, so I'm gonna create a new layer right above the face and right beneath the hair. And I am going to turn on drawing assist. Okay, and then I'm going to grab white. And this is the shape that I draw for my eyes. Very, very simple. So it's like a half circle and then a line like that. And then I just use the color dropper tool to fill it in. And the same thing for the mouth. I'm going to just draw a line like this. I want to make it kind of big and cheesy. And then I dip it in like that. Let me just fix the corners. And then use the color dropper tool as well. 
Okay. Now the details for the eyes and the mouth will not be on this layer. They will be on the layer right above it. So let's create a new layer. Okay. Yeah. I remember you. I remember you. See light. All right. And I'm just going to choose brown for my eyes. And because we have two, we have to turn on drawing assist. And let's turn on the clipping mask. If you don't turn on the clipping mask, let me show you what it'll look like. So I have one drawing assist, but I don't have on my clipping mask. So I'm drawing my eye details. And you see how they're kind of sticking outside of the shape of the eye? We don't want that. We want it to kind of tuck in there. So let's click clipping mask. And now it's set into the eyes. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more detail here to the eye. And then circle. And then if you wanted to do like a little bit of a sparkle to the eye, if you go to the luminance section and the luminous brush section and grab the flare brush, the one at the very top, you can do like a little eye twinkle if you wanted to. Or you can just do a regular circle with the calligraphy monoline brush. All right, now for the mouth, I don't wanna just leave it white like that. I want it to have some detail too. So normally I get like a red or a dark pinkish color, almost purple. And on that clipping mask layer where we added the eye detail, I just kind of draw, uh oh, let me change the brush back. I don't want sparkles on the teeth. Uh, calligraphy monoline. I just do like that to kind of make the teeth look a little bit happier and like featured a little bit more. All right, so the next thing that we want to do are the eyebrows and the eyelashes and you can just draw those freely how you want. And I'm going to grab black and create a new layer, turn on that drawing assist. And I do very simple shapes again for the eyebrows. You can just draw a line like that and bam, you have eyebrows. Then I'm gonna lower the brush size and just draw three little eyelashes. Keep it very, very simple. Now for the nose, I'm just gonna change the color to a darker brown. So I draw the outer shape of the nose and then I draw a line for the nostril. Another nose that I like to draw is, where it's just like one line here. All right, now the final step that we are going to do is we want to add that shading layer. And what we want to do, we want to go all the way back down to the bottom. So if you look at my layers, you have the body uh, and ears. It sounds weird when it says body ears. Um, the body and ears layer. So all the way at the bottom. And then we're going to add one layer right above that. Okay, and this is where we will add the shading detail. Now we can use two different brushes. We can use the airbrush soft brush for this, or we can use one of the, um, the charcoal brushes. I think it's the 6B Compress. But first let's apply the clipping mask to this layer. And this allows it to, um, to keep all of the shading within the, the shape of the body. All right, now what you wanna do, tap on your skin tone layer and let's go to classic. So you see how the face and the ears and the neck, it all looks like it's one big mask. If you go right where the chin and the neck meet, on this layer, you have to make sure it's on the correct layer and just brush across it. It kind of makes the face pop and separate from the, um, the neck. Okay, now if you want to turn on the symmetry tool to do the ears, I would say do the neck first and then do the ears, or you could, you know, use the symmetry tool for both, but it's not 100% necessary, but you can do the same thing with the ears and it just kind of separates everything. Okay, so let's grab the 6B compressed and let's make sure that the um, clipping mask is on and then we're gonna do that same process. Let me look, uh, increase the size of the brush a little bit. Okay, and that is our symmetrical selfie portrait.